Today I'm going to be showing you how to get and use this jailbreak new GUI script. Enjoy. Alright guys, so once you're in the first link in the description, you should see this page and pretty much you're going to want to copy the script. And then you're of course going to want to load into your game and today, here we are in jailbreak. And take out your executor, I'm going to be using SynapseX as you guys can tell right there. So you guys can get SynapseX for free instead of $20 and all you need to do is leave a like. Make sure to be subscribed down below and of course leave a nice comment on the new videos and you guys might have a chance to enter into the 40k subscriber giveaway. Uh, but anyways, let's attach our executor. Uh, let's paste the script. Now that the game has finally loaded, we can execute. And now that we've executed it, you want to give it a second to load up and give it a second. And there we go. We click on load script and it should load up the script. Here we are. So we have a few options like teleports, player mods, cars, other vehicles, combat, silent aim, and of course ESP, equipment, robberies, miscellaneous, and settings. So lots of options for this GUI and lots of them are pretty useful too. You can make configs for your GUI in the settings. You can load them, you can delete them or overwrite them. You can also toggle the GUI with a certain button. So we set the button here and then we, let's do like, semicolon okay so you can just change the key by to close it and of course you can also close the ui from the here here are the credits elisa uh, fenixu and kirian so those are the credits and let's move on to miscellaneous so first off we have a annoy server i didn't uh, that was way too loud but pretty much it just spams a bunch of noises to the whole server which is super loud and annoying so it will certainly get people who have their volume up. You can also automatically open all doors. So let's go to somewhere where the doors aren't open, like the police station. And if we click open all doors, it will open all the doors. We also have open all sewers. So the sewer will automatically open by just turning it that on. We can also explode the wall over there. We can lift the gate. We can erupt the volcano. Now that's a pretty cool option. Uh, we probably won't be able to see it. But you guys, you guys get it, okay? Uh, we can also click destroy, so it will. it's pretty much like B-Tools. So if you guys look, I just destroyed what I clicked on. So it's pretty overpowered. We also have click nuke, which will nuke wherever we click. We can click lightning, which will lightning wherever we click. I, I really like this feature. That This one is my, one of my favorite, like, miscellaneous ones. We can also give ourselves cash, like, there we go. We, we get a cash, or we can just put, like, infinite you know uh sadly it isn't real but you guys it's just for fun you can also launch fireworks you just put how many you want and oh no please don't okay we're good and we can also send a notification right here by just typing something out and then there we go notification to our, our robberies so we can make it so the museum doesn't detect us so you know when the lasers are going around to the floor and you step on it it will turn red it will actually disable that feature and you can just sneak around the whole place we also have autocomplete plant puzzles so for the power plant all the drag wire puzzles you can automatically do that and you can auto rob small stores which we are actually going to them right now Going to the small stores, let me show you the equipment. So we have infinite jetpack fuel, which you guys hopefully can guess that it's gives you infinite jetpack fuel. And you also have premium jetpack fuel, which will make the premium infinite too. So it's pretty awesome. And as you guys could see, we just robbed the donut shop. And of course, we also have grab key card, which you guys, as you can obviously tell, just grabbed it. Oh no, there's a Hopefully he didn't see that. But obviously, as you guys can see, I got the key card by just clicking that one button. Pretty handy. Let's move on to a ESP, which pretty much will be able to see everybody. So let's do show names. So now we can see everybody's names from far away. I don't like that feature, so I'm just gonna do boxes and it's pretty clean, pretty easy to see two people. And you can also sh turn on show health, so you'll be able to see their health. Really handy if you're just gonna start, you know, going on a kill streak you know and you can also show you their distance pretty i don't like that but once again your choices guys we can also have tracers so uh you know pretty classic tracers you can change the origin and all that good stuff if y'all want and uh, we also have show enemies and we can make the thing rainbow the esp rainbow i don't recommend that because you you won't know who's the police and 
criminal and prisoner but you know it's really your choice and we can also show airdrops so we'll be able to see the airdrops in the sky if there's any nearby and we can also show every player on the map by just turning this on and we'll be able to see all the cops criminals and prisoners Move on to the silent aim though all right guys so we have first off just if we want to enable it at all and you know we can turn it on or off and uh, there's a bunch of cops in there uh, i'm just gonna go in <laughs> real quick you know let me ah look at these corrupt losers dude are you serious well anyways uh, i'll sh i'll show you guys that later but we also have our fov so our silent aim fov so we can show our fov and we can change the size and of course, when we're holding a gun, the FOV is gonna keep changing, just depends. And I still have the click lightning on, I didn't realize that. Anyways, uh, so pretty useful. I'll show you that while we're fighting. We can also grab uh, all weapons. And I don't have a pistol, I don't have own grenade. So you have to, of course, ha own the weapons or else you can't get it. We can also buy grenade ammo automatically, rocket, C4, you get that stuff. We also have fully automatic gun mod, we have rapid fire, all the classic gun mods. We also have grenade fuse, so we can actually make our grenades faster, and we can also throw them faster and stuff. We can also make it so we can shoot while we're driving, really handy feature if you're just like doing a chase. We can also change some vehicle stuff like the Volk bites, the Volt bike speed, so we can change how fast it is, we can change how fast boats are on land. I don't know why you'd want that, but, or like boat speed just in general or on land. I don't know why you'd want that, but you can do it. You can also change your helicopter speed and your infinite heli height, which means you'll be able to go infinitely up with the helicopter. Pretty cool. And the same with the drones. All right, so next is, of course, the cars option. So now that we have control of a car, we can change our engine speed, so how fast we go. So this is our current speed, okay? It's not nothing, nothing crazy, nothing special. But if we turn it up, as you guys can see, we are going much faster. So pretty much, it, it's the same speed as better cars. We also have our turn speed, because as you guys can see, we do not turn very good. So we can change how, how fast we turn. So pretty pretty handy you know okay that's that's a little too high and a little bit too high speed okay so there we go that's much better and we can also change our suspension height to that if we really wanted and our just suspension is just crazy now and we still managed to flip but you guys get the idea all right you have crazy high wheels you can of course also change our the speed of car fly if you have it on pretty sick you know Let's actually make it fast. This is so slow. But obviously, as you can tell, this is pretty crazy how you can just fly around. And our wheels are just... <laughs> I don't even know what to tell you, honestly. They're there. Uh, we also have, of course, an uh, anti-tire, you know, pop. We also have infinite nitro. So if you turn that on, the wrong keybind. We have so many features for the car. And lots of them are just for fun. But lots of them are also pretty handy. Like we have auto drift so we can just always be holding the handbrake for some reason if you want that or we can uh auto lock you know you have so many options let me turn this off real quick so as you guys can see my nitro is infinite and i'm not losing any so that's pretty cool and yes and you can also spam the headlights if you really wanted it's it's pretty cool features so i have walk speed which is pretty much just how fast you guys want to walk so this is normal this is higher and this is max uh, we also have jump power, so how high we jump, we can change that. Oh, uh, okay. And we also have fly speed, and with our fly. So let's make our keybind S, so every time we click S, we should fly. And we can change the fly speed to something higher, something lower, it's really our choice. And we also have infinite jump, which will make it so we can infinitely jump, as you guys can see. We also have no clip, which I'll show you. Pretty much, you can walk through buildings. So let me turn off fly. Okay. So obviously, I can't walk through this, right? But if we turn on no clip, I'm walking through it just fine. So that's pretty much what no clip does. It lets you walk through like walls and stuff. We also have no weight, which will remove the countdowns and stuff in the game. We also have anti ragdoll, which means if we fall from somewhere high, we won't actually fall on the ground and just like later for a second. 
We also have our rest aura, which of course is for the police because now with the rest aura, you can just run around the criminal and they will be automatically arrested. So that's pretty cool. Also have no cell time, which is awesome because you can just run right back out or you can automatically change your team from here. One of our other features is of course our field of view. So you can change it. I'm gonna leave mine a default and of course free cam, which will let you pretty much like fly around in a kind of weird way. It's kind of hard to explain. We also have lastly teleport so we can teleport to a bunch of robbery locations, a bunch of normal like shops and stuff. We can also go to all the vehicles in the game and we can teleport to any of the players that are listed and we don't have to type it out. Thank you so much. And of course we can also change the teleport mode. So usually when you guys teleport, uh, in order to bypass the anti-teleport feature on jailbreak, you first get in a car and then it teleports you. But with this, you can make it so it automatically gets out of the car after it teleports. Guys, I think that's pretty much all the features for today's GUI. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are still trying to hit 30, 40k now. We just hit 30k. Thank you guys so much, and hopefully I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.